guys, welcome to Beard's Eye View, and this is going to be what I thought of Season 3 of The Last Kingdom. There will be spoilers uh, pretty much all the way through the video. Um, I thought about like splitting it in half, but it's quite difficult to really go over it without really spoiling stuff. So I'm just kind of giving my like, rough thoughts, but I will be spoiling stuff, so spoilers all the way through. Make sure you've seen Season 3, you've been warned. I like Uhtred's new look, uh, the, the shaved side of the head and just the, the new attire and everything. It's all pretty cool. It seems that kind of like... Winter is set in because they're all wearing like fur a little bit more and everything and like more like thicker clothing and whatnot So yeah, it's cool. I'm glad they kind of did that rather than just sticking with the same clothing They're kind of like well, you know the times and everything shifts and the season shifts so let's let's make it abundantly clear that blonde bitch. She's Weird awful just getting people to like fucking drink blood and just treating her like she's basically saying I, I'm owned by these people and she curses them and all this stuff. She did the same thing with with Uhtred as well as well as these other like uh, Viking characters and just yeah, she's a real weird one to be honest. She kind of starts the season with her, and the way it ends up with her was a shock, and it was awesome. But I'll get into it later. Ragnar dying. Ah, oh, I'll be honest, I didn't see it coming because I've only read the first two books, uh, The Last Kingdom of the Pale Horseman, so I don't know what happens past that. So season three is past that, as far as I remember. It's been a long time since I read the books, but I don't remember that at all. And just ah, oh, sucked. Didn't expect it. Just. Ragnar's the kind of character, he's an awesome character, really fleshed out character, and I can kind of expect him to die in, you know, obviously a massive fight, massive battle, something like that, no, nobly, saving someone's life, that kind of stuff. No! Just for him to be by... Oh, I can't remember the freaking guy's name now. The fucking whiny little short-haired prick that everybody hates. It's Ethel something, I can't remember. I'm re it's it's going to be a lot of struggle in this re review about names, because I'm struggling with names. Um, but yeah, him! Just comes in the middle of the night and fucking stabs him to death, like right in the middle of uh, this, this woman that he's bedded and everything. He fucking kills her and whatnot. And like the whole time, Ragnar's going for his sword. It looks like he's basically trying to get hold of his sword to fucking try and defend himself. But what it actually is is him to grab the sword. So obviously, because when they die, if they believe that they go to Valhalla, their version of heaven, but they have to be gripping their sword. And he didn't when he died, so he goes to hell. He goes to well the. Uh, their version of Hell, I can't remember what it's called either. And that kind of transitions into Ultrid and um, Breeder trying to lift this curse and get hold of the blood of his um, of his sister, I think it's his sister, to basically lift it and, and basically make sure the person that killed him is covered in his blood as he's being killed, so the curse is lifted and he goes to Valhalla. And that kind of plays it through the rest of the season, which is good. The whole time through this entire season, Alfred is dying. Like you can see it visibly. He's pale. He's like d dark uh, circles on his eyes. He's getting thinner. He's getting more frail. He can't move. They never specifically like they don't specify what it is that's killing him. But it seems like the way he's going, something to do with his stomach, something to do with his bowels, maybe his could be his lungs. It's it's, it's an internal thing that's slowly killing him away. And. It's, it's really hard to see that kind of thing, because he's a good character and everything. And him and Ulster can have a lot of back and forth, there's a times when he fucking banishes him, and then he welcomes him back as well, they have a really nice moment, uh, I think it's the second to last episode, of them just kind of putting things to bed really, because of, uh, Alfred's like, I'm gonna die, so I might as well right this wrong and make this guy a free man. And it's, it was a real nice moment that, I really enjoyed that. One other thing I really liked as well is when they're going, to, uh, Ulster and his guys are going to battle the, the Viking guys again, Saxons? I think it's Saxons. I'm oh, crap at this. <laughs> they all close in around them, they've got less men. And then Alfred is standing there with his son and all the other people on horses in the woods, and he's basically saying, hold, 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 no, we're just gonna let them kill each other. And then his son is like, I'm not having this, charge, and they go in, they save them. That moment, because it kind of ended an episode on shit, what's gonna happen, and they kick in. It's basically like Alfred's still pissed off with Alfred at this point, but his son is kind of like, he's, he's kind of him teaching, like, what will you do? You need to be prepared to take over and take charge, because I am going to die soon, so you need, you're going to be the next king. So it was kind of like revenge as well as, like, teachings your, for your child. It was, it was quite interesting to see that dynamic between them, because it's him being a father figure, all the while doing his duty at the exact same time. And when Hector went against that other dude that the fucking blonde bitch liked, that was fun as well. They're basically fighting over her, fucking squabbling over a girl, and beat the shit out of each other. It looks like um, Hector was going to die, and then he, he slightly gets the upper hand, um, and then in the last minute, the blonde bitch fucking kills the other guy anyway. Fucking stabs him dead, gone. I was like, oh, okay. That was kind of out of nowhere, but fine, whatever. I suppose it furthers her character, at least for a little bit. Her death. Uh, well, obviously, we knew it was going to come. Of course, it fucking was. 
but the way it was done, I didn't expect it to happen the way it did. I expected her to be mown down by something or stabbed by, you know, something. I didn't know, but it was obviously abundantly clear with this curse that she's got on Orchard that you have to kill her to lift the curse without breaking the skin and bleeding and decapitating. It has to be a clean death. So like, you know, choking or anything, something like that. And the way he does it, oh my god, it's awesome. He lulls under a full sense of security that she's got him like a little dog. Like, like she's grabbed him and got him like under her thumb and that they're going to lay together and all this kind of stuff and she's basically saying she's got control of him. They go into this like stream together, they start making out and undressing and think, oh, he's fucking fallen for it. And then at the last minute, just as he's behind her, he grabs her sheet, swings it over her head, pushes her under the water and just starts choking her out. And the whole time, I'm just like, don't you let up, don't you fucking let up, just fucking do it, destroy her, kill her, she's awful, she's a horrible person, so many people have died because of her, she's awful and he doesn't let up, she fucking dies and drowns and... Oh, it's such a satisfying death for such a character that's just, just horrible. Everworld, that's the guy's name, I'm pretty sure it's his name. He gets taken back uh, to Alfred at some point, where he goes back to Alfred, he's forced to go back there and he kind of admits his past wrongdoings and Alfred just basically says the punishment is losing an eye, which he does, gets burned out of him by a poker and he doesn't wear the, like, the sheath over it, he just lets it out in the open and just, oh, it's brutal. Didn't see it coming, but... <laughs> Yeah, he deserves it. He's a slimy little git. Uh, the final episode kind of comes towards, like, uh, Alfred being a, f a free man. Uh, Alfred dies. He, he passes away in his bed. Uh, it's a very upsetting moment. His missus is kind of being a bit of a bitch and trying to take over. It's not really working. Uh, his son takes control and says, No, Alfred's a free man. He's going to be by my side. Um, and they basically go on to take on the, the, the Saxons, uh, or Vikings, whatever. Uh, they go to take those on for a final ditch thing. They're, they're coming towards them, so they're trying to devise their plan. Decide, let's meet them head on in the woods where they can't. Let, the numbers kind of dissipate quickly because we're like taking them from all sides. And it's awesome. It's a great, massive fight. Just loads of fucking death, destruction, and just a full on sword fight. It's great. It's really, one thing I really like about this season as well, it's really quite nicely shot. I, I think it's shot really well with certain bits and bobs, the angles they do. Yeah, it was really good. I'm glad Netflix picked this up. Um, it's realising halfway through that uh, Hector and the rest of the guys, they're, they're completely fucked. Um, Ethelwald decides to fucking bail and run. Altered finds him and obviously runs after him because he's found out that it's him that killed Ragnar. He is pissed. Chases after him with this, like, the bag of blood that he's got from, her sis from uh, Ragnar's sister. And he finds him um, after he's fallen off his horse. And they talk and he threatens him and he gets him to admit the fact that Ragnar, you know, he killed Ragnar. Uh, and then he kind of, again, he lowers him to a source of security, he kind of lowers his sword and just basically goes, you, you'll leave, right, you'll go and everything, and then everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, and then he just, like, he throws the, this is so great, he throws the bag of blood at him, and just as the bag reaches his chest, bang, with a sword, with that blood straight through his chest, and it was awesome, just the blood pouring down, pulls him out and just lets him fucking die there and then, the curse is lifted, uh, from Ragnar, he now goes to Valhalla, and that slimy little twat is dead. Because he was awful. From day one, I was like, I can't wait for him to die. And that was a good fucking way to die, to be honest. After that, it doesn't... Nothing else really happens after that. That is pretty much the end. I fully expected a few more characters in that final battle to die. Um, at least a couple of the, the Saxons, or maybe one of uh, Ultra's friends, or something. I, I assumed someone else was going to die, but it didn't happen. So I was kind of a little bit disappointed with that, but I suppose obviously they got to follow the books. I get that, I understand that, but I just kind of expected uh, another big death, but that just didn't happen. Um, oh yeah, the, the sister dies. She burns, d burns down in a house, uh, you know, randomly. I <laughs> don't know why they decided to shut that in. Fine, whatever. Again, following the book. They have confirmed that Season 4 is on the way as well. I didn't know whether it was going to carry on because I thought, well, maybe they could probably end it there. Maybe it was just they were just salvaging what was left from that Netflix were. But no, they're carrying on with it, which I'm glad because, you know, I do enjoy this season, these seasons. Uh, so, yeah, Season 4 is coming. Um, yeah, I'm glad they are. Overall, guys, uh, Season 3 of The Last Kingdom, um, it was a long time coming. Uh, the last one finished, I think it was 2015 or something like that. The last time I was reviewing it, I was in not my, my parents' house, I was in the previous house. So, it's a long time since, I think I had fucking long hair the last time I was reviewing them. I could do, I can't remember. But it's been a long time coming, because Netflix picked it up and had to take it on and actually do their own thing with it. Um, but I'm glad they did. I enjoyed the season. It could have been better. You know, I think there was a couple of disappointments here and there. There was a couple of times I was getting a little bit bored and I was everything. But overall, I enjoyed the season. There were some shocking moments I didn't expect. There were some things that happened I didn't expect to happen the way that they did. Um, and, you know, overall, it's a decent, serviceable season. It's making me look forward to season four now that we've got all these, uh, you know, potential things that can happen. Um, so, yeah, it's not the perfect um, season I've ever watched, but 
It's definitely enjoyable and I think I'd give it a nice high three stars. So that's what I thought of Season 3 of The Last Kingdom. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Just type in Beard's Eye View anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And I'll see you soon.